Okay, so let's use our knowledge of the different uh, types of real numbers or the different subsets of the real numbers uh, to classify each of the numbers in this list uh, into these different uh, subsets or categories. And we want to list all the categories that apply to each of the numbers. So some of these numbers may fall into uh, multiple subsets or multiple categories of real numbers. So let's start with an example A here, square root of 10. Uh, now 10 is not a perfect square. 9 is a perfect square, its square root is 3, and 16 is a perfect square, its square root is 4, uh, but 10 is not a perfect square. So in this expression, we're extracting the square root of a number that's not a perfect square, and that always gives us an example of an irrational number. So square root of 10 um, is an irrational number. Now, however, all irrational numbers are also real numbers, so uh, square root of 10 also counts as a real number. In fact, all of the numbers in this list um, are going to be examples of real numbers. Now, in uh, example B, we're looking at uh, minus the square root of 25. Now, 25 is a perfect square because um, 25 is 5 squared. So we can extract the square root of 25. We can simplify the square root of 25. And uh, the square root of 25 obviously is 5. And since this is minus the square root of 25, then uh, this expression simplifies to minus 5. Now, minus 5 is the negative of a positive whole number. Minus 5 is the negative of positive 5. And remember, the negatives of the positive whole numbers, those count as integers. So minus 5 is an example of um, an integer. Now, uh, all integers, however, are also rational numbers. Because remember, rational numbers are numbers which can be written as fractions. And minus 5 can be written um, as a fraction by just simply using a denominator of 1. You can write minus 5 as minus 5 over 1. And in fact, you can pull that same trick for any integer. So any integer also counts as a rational number. So therefore, minus 5 also is a rational number. And then, as we mentioned earlier, uh, all rational numbers are real, so minus 5 or minus the square root of 25 is also um, a real number. All right, now let's look at example uh, 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 C here. Uh, 3 halves, or 3 divided by 2, or 3 over 2. Well, obviously, this is a number that's written as a fraction, can be written as a fraction. And numbers that can be written as fractions, these are examples of rational numbers. Now, on the other hand, um, 3 halves obviously is not a whole number, so it's not going to be an integer, or it's not going to be a uh, natural number. So we can classify it as a rational, but not an integer or not a na uh, natural number. And then again, all rational numbers are real numbers. Let me scroll up here, and let's look at example D. Now here we have a decimal number, 3.131313. And the ellipsis here, or the dot, 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 indicates that that 1, 3 pattern continues to form the decimal expansion of this number. So this is an example of a non-terminating uh, decimal, but it is a repeating decimal. And non-terminating repeating decimals are examples of rational numbers. It's actually fairly easy to prove that a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal can be written as a fraction. I'm sorry, a non-terminating repeating decimal can be written as a fraction. And um, because it can be written as a fraction, uh, it's an example of a rational number. And then again, uh, all rational numbers are uh, real numbers. <coughs> Finally, now for our last example, uh, 100. Clearly, that's a positive whole number. And as a positive whole number, that makes it a counting number or a natural number. So 100 is an example um, of a natural number. But all natural numbers also count as integers. So 100 uh, is an integer. And then, as we mentioned before, all integers are rational numbers. So 100 is also a rational number. And then, likewise, all rational numbers are real numbers. So 100 is also a real number.